the Ukrainian military advanced in the Crimea region, but Russia is worried about the West donation of tanks to Ukraine and is making an effort to minimize its involvement. In the Crimea area of the Luhansk region, Ukrainian military forces were able to make progress. Meanwhile, Russia is attempting to minimize its role in the fighting because it is concerned about the West's delivery of tanks to Ukraine. According to researchers at the American Institute for the Study of War, the Russian occupants are continuing their limited ground assaults to retake areas they have lost in the Crimea region. On January 25, it seemed likely that Ukrainian forces were moving closer to Crimea. Video of the conflict, which was made available on January 23 and geolocated on January 24, reveals that Ukrainian forces attacked a Russian airborne convoy on an unknown date east of the village of Dibrava and most likely proceeded west of the settlement. According to additional geo-tagged combat footage that was made available on January 23 and 24, Ukrainian forces were also thought to be moving south of Kremenaya. Kremenaya and Rubizny in the Luhansk region were the targets of a further HIMARS bombardment by the Ukrainian armed forces on January 25. Additionally, the Kremlin and Russian bloggers are attempting to minimize the significance of Ukraine receiving Western tanks. The West's donation of Abrams and Leopard tanks to Ukraine, according to Kremlin Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov, is a total failure. From the point of view of technological issues and there is a clear overestimation of the potential that, these tanks, will add. While this is going on, some Russian bloggers are attempting to reassure their domestic readership by asserting that these weapons do not pose a real threat and that older Western systems like HIMARS offer a greater threat. Furthermore, the Kremlin and the entirety of the Russian information environment previously perceived the West's transfer of strictly defensive Patriot missile systems as a significant escalation between Russia and the West. The fact that the Kremlin and Russian bloggers did not characterize Russia's continued selection of which systems to regard as an escalation as the provision of armored vehicles that could genuinely aid future Ukrainian counteroffensive operations. The Kremlin and Russian bloggers are more focused on allaying looming worries. Recall that U.S. President Joe Biden declared the first shipment of American Abrams tanks had been delivered to Ukraine. About 31 combat vehicle units are involved. Germany formally agreed to give Ukraine 14 Leopard 2 tanks at the same time. Additionally, the German government guaranteed that any nations prepared to transfer their tanks to Ukraine would be granted authorization to re-export these German vehicles.